So we're standing in the courtyard in the middle of the school and behind me you can see the apartment building. And the two things were part of an equation that made both possible. A school was never going to be able to purchase a piece of land of this size. And so here the housing funds the school. So in a way you've got two completely different types of buildings fused together in a hybrid. The feedback when tenants first moved in was extremely overwhelming. People were just really, really happy and pleased because of how the development looks, the layout of the flats. It's a bold design. I mean, the red brick and the facades of it. It's very attractive to a lot of our tenants because of how it looks. It's very definitely a landmark. It's a big building, but in a way, there's a parity between inside and outside space. So rather than the balconies being these projecting elements, they're just part of this kind of pattern of openings. The design very deliberately removed inner corridors to create this sense of visibility so that all the children feel a part of a community and they can see their friends and the other pupils going about their day. It seemed quite natural to make a courtyard school, make a school which in a busy inner city location in a way could just be a quiet kind of world in microcosm for little people. It resonates with children playing, with the sound of singing, string instruments being played. It almost feels like a little village school, which is really magical. Children can have their own space where they can feel calm and secure. There are spaces for them to be able to just sit, reflect, read a book, but then there are also spaces where they can run around. Some of our children do not have access to gardens at home. So for us, it's very important that all of our children are connected with nature. They're in classes where they can constantly look outside. They walk out of the classrooms and they're immediately out in the open. One of the joys of not having corridors is we've got galleries and balconies and open staircases, and they're all places to play. Part of that constellation of spaces Outside every classroom, there's a little bench, which allows us in a way to inhabit the wall. You know, part of it creates a reading space on the inside, part of it's pushed back and creates a bench on the outside. And we just imagine that as another place to play. It's a point in a child's life when they make friends. And as a parent, you make friends through your kids' friends. And so we just made a bench. And at the end of the day, parents sit on the bench, talk to each other. So, the school is kind of working as a piece of social infrastructure other than just being a school.